Hello my beauties and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today I'm back. So um, yeah, it's been a while. I will get into all of that. We'll have a chat, catch up. Um, I have some new to me makeup products to try. So let's just crack on and I will bring you up to date. Um, I've done my brows with the little e.l.f bite size is it the little brow palette um and i have primed my eyes with the p louise base in rumor zero two um which i love um so the palette i'm going to be using today was very kindly gifted to me why is that disappearing why are you oh how strange um i have a new camera which I say new it was I got it for my birthday um, and for some reason the pictures not staying on the screen I don't know I'm trying to work out how to use it so the palette that I'm gonna be using was very kindly gifted to me um, by the brand owner Amanda and I'm so incredibly grateful it is the ladybug glow and ice cream beauty the end of the rainbow palette and she looks like this absolutely gorgeous and this is what she looks like on the inside okay i am so excited to try this um why are you i don't know why it's doing that um so let's just crack on and i will yeah let you know what's been going on so I am going to use Clover, this deep green here, Lucky, and Pot of Gold, Pot of Gold, um, the mattes, and then I'm thinking I'm going to use Mesmerizing and possibly Magical on the lid. They look stunning, don't they? Um, so yeah, where have I been? Um, well, you guys know I took um some time out over christmas um there were a couple of losses um one was uh, an old friend i'd had since childhood it hit me pretty hard so i needed to take some time just to kind of pull myself together um my mental health was quite affected by by how how it happened etc um i'm not going to go into all of that um on a video but that's why i took some time out over christmas um and the new year um then my dog jace um who if you're not new you will know um went in to be neutered just a regular kind of everyday op that they do um we were aware that one of his testicles hadn't dropped um but thought we knew where it was turns out we didn't and it was lodged up in his groin so that was that ended up being quite a a big op he was under the anesthetic for an hour and a half ended up with three large incisions and a lot of both internal and external bruising which not nice um so yeah he the the plastic cones that um you get generally when they've had a knot it stressed him out so 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 much so we we got one of the blow up ones um but where he has such a long neck and long nose he if he really tried could reach to kind of lick the wound so someone had to be with him kind of to keep an eye on him at all times um which was difficult, it needed to be shift work. Also, he was on extremely strong painkillers for the first few days after the op. So it was two weeks of constant 24 hour supervision. 
sorry that was my door um see so yeah, i did the the night shifts so i was exhausted so obviously no filming got done no makeup etc during that time this green is absolutely gorgeous um it's taking a bit of getting back into i've i did makeup the other day i put it up on instagram but then my my blepharitis flared up but we'll we'll get there we'll we'll get to that um that is looking so nice that is such a nice color um so yeah that that was that um and then i what am i doing now and then i got blepharitis um which turns out is a chronic condition um come on camera and this is just so pretty and uh yeah so my eyes swelled up and it, it was pretty nasty um my eyes were really sore and i looked like i'd been in a fight if i remember you can find the the photos i will pop a picture up on the screen of what my eyes looked like it was not pleasant um but yeah it was what it was i couldn't put makeup on it was so bad that i had to contact the doctor and get some kind of ointment to treat it so that was another couple of weeks um no makeup no filming etc these shades are pretty um i can actually see a better now in the mirror in front of me which is bizarre i have contact lenses now which is another thing that is new um so yeah i had to wait for that to go down and then it's like a, a never-ending stream you couldn't write it um then we found out that my landlord was going to be putting our house up for sale so we needed to find somewhere else to live um as you can probably tell if you're not new by the background that yeah we've moved house um, so that kind of put a stop to filming for a bit more. Um, yeah, madness. Um, let's go into, do I want to use that brush or do I want to use that brush? Let's just use you, let's see what you do. Um, so, yes, moved house, um, been getting settled. And then every time I thought I was close to being able to film, um, either I couldn't find anything, which you'll all know if you have moved house, um, getting everything set, set up, finding everything that I needed, um, working out how to use this camera, which I'm still not a hundred percent sure on, um, it's a work in progress <laughs> this is the first time actually filming with it so hopefully it comes out okay um but then the other day after i had done my makeup and thinking right okay gonna get back to filming my blepharitis flared up again so yeah that that was another few days out Come on camera um so yeah i don't know why this screen keeps going dark obviously there's obviously some kind of setting that i need to work out on it i've only ever used my phone for filming like ever since i started my channel so this is all new <laughs> to me i am not a modern technology person that looks so pretty okay am i happy with how it's looking yes i'm not going to be doing anything kind of 
being over the top today just getting back into things um so okay so as you can see blepharitis has gone down so i am filming again um during the time that oh okay i'm gonna need my closer mirror still oh that is so pretty and it looks so purple in the pan that looks so green how is it looking on camera you seen the green or the purple i'm not sure that is stunning um what was i saying yeah i have contact lenses now so i can see better um and obviously while i was out filming a lot of stuff has come in so i have a i was already behind i already had a bunch a whole bunch of makeup that i hadn't used yet um so now there is a lot more i have a whole huge box of palettes eyeshadow palettes and then a whole separate box of other face products this is absolutely stunning okay i love that loving that loving it um yeah it's nice being able to see what i'm doing better again what i say again it's been a long time long long time since i've worn contact lenses like on the daily um since before i started my channel actually um so yeah it's nice to be back in contact lenses able to see what i'm doing so hopefully my makeup will look better because i can actually see better what i'm what i'm doing um i this is gorgeous i have so missed this and i've missed you guys i actually feel quite nervous this is i haven't filmed in oh crikey since january early january i think early to mid january um and yeah i was actually quite quite nervous i don't know why excited also but yeah definitely a bit a bit nervous um let's see if i can just brush that off for now i'll clean under in a bit yeah i'll do um oh i love that um so yeah i'm back i'm excited to be back i'm excited because i've got so much um kind of new to me makeup to try loads of different indie brands to try um some i've had in my box of shame for a while now um i'm ashamed to say i was already behind with filming um but yeah now obviously mega mega behind so there is a lot to do a lot that i have that i haven't used um i need to do my eyeshadow palette collection into clutter which is going to be crazy um what am i gonna do now what do i need to do now this is really bizarre not knowing what to do um oh i do have no i'm gonna i'm gonna clean up and do my base and then we'll do my under eyes shall i no um i'm just gonna pop a bit of the p louise base under my eye quickly um so yeah what else um with my eyeshadow palette collection and declutter i've decided i want to do something a little bit different this time um something that i haven't done before because there's a lot of times that i end up kind of re-pulling palettes back into my collection regretting it or um keeping keeping palettes that i ended up not using and decluttering so i think this time around what i want to do is have a pile of 
kind of should it stay or should it go um section where my eyes are still a little bit dry from having the blepharitis so apologies in advance um so yeah kind of having a pile should it stay should it go and then doing a series where i use one of the palettes from there and make a decision then having used it let me know what you guys think um i just thought it might be a better way to do it and then i'm not keeping around things i'm not going to be using they can go to a home where they're going to get a lot more love um okay what do i want to do under my eyes i think i'm just going to use the same mats yeah i'm just going to use the same mats um let's keep things simple um so yeah let me know what you guys think if you think that's going to be a good idea um what else I am planning on bringing back new releases and sneak peeks. Um, I have been asked so many times and I had planned to bring it back before now, but then life has kind of gotten, say kind of has gotten in the way and it hasn't worked out that I've, been able to do that um so i do really want to bring that back because it is something that i get really excited about um i did start a the classified indie um page on instagram which i love doing um so yeah it's definitely something that i have a passion for and I definitely want to bring that back to my channel so yes i plan on doing that really soon um i'm just going to go in just with the yellow i'm not going to use the the mid green under my eyes i'm just going straight in with the yellow um so yeah i think are we about caught up i think so i think yeah this palette is absolutely gorgeous and I'm so incredibly grateful that I was gifted this by the brand owner Amanda. She is just such a really genuinely lovely sweet person and I love her, her eyeshadows. I really need to try the lip glosses. Um, Erica's been using them and every time she uses one I just think oh why haven't I why haven't I tried them yet um so I really really should the screen's gone black again okay um I think I am gonna go in with that mid green actually just yeah yeah it does need that bit um so yeah that's that's kind of catch up it's a bit of a hectic one isn't it this this i'm back <laughs> um lots has changed and i'm trying out some new makeup that is absolutely gorgeous okay i like that a lot um Am I going to finish my eyes before? Yeah, I think I am. Um, I am going to move these bits to the side. I do have a new... I've, I've got a couple of new like eye products, mascaras, liners, just because a lot of them... Well, my mascaras especially were all old and... I'm fearful that I'm just going to keep bringing this blepharitis back. I don't know if the fact that they're older, they're irritating my eyes. So I binned all of my mascaras. Um, and I picked up some new ones and some new bits and bobs. Um, so yes, I have this Catrice Calligraph Pro Matte Liner Waterproof Precise. 24 hour um so yes i'm going to give this a go i'm hoping it's gonna be a good one 
and it's quite uh, an easy to use. Okay, that's, that's nice and black. Okay. Not mad at this so far. Okay, so matte black, but yeah, it does pick up the the shimmer, but then I was expecting that. But yeah, I would say that's pretty easy to use like that. Um, so I'm liking how that's looking. So I do have a new mascara to try. It is the Be by Beauty. I can't speak. The by Beauty Bay High Key volume mascara um i don't know if i'm going to be putting um lashes on today because it's been a while <laughs> um let's take that sticker off um we'll see we'll see how how it looks with just the mascara um oh this is a bizarre brush it's not what i was expecting at all Um, okay, I'm not sure I like this, the brush on this at all, um, mm. it doesn't really appear to be doing much either, it's only one layer though, so, hold your horses stuff. Um, hmm. we'll see. Um, to be fair, mascaras I don't often like from the word go. Oh, okay. Um, I'm just gonna shut up now because this is doing something. Okay. Um. All right, two coats. I think uh, me and this mascara might actually get on all right. Okay. Have I found an affordable mascara that I like from the word go? I believe so. Okay. Well, that I was not expecting at all, especially once I saw what the wand looked like. But okay, that's pretty nice. First impressions are, are looking good. Put some on my lower lashes. Okay, it's not as easy to, I don't know if it's because it's such a, a thick, large wand, but not so easy for the lower lashes. Hmm, okay, I, I might... I might not love this for the lower lashes so much um but also i don't know if this transfers yet so we shall see but i sound really negative there like i'm expecting it to go wrong that's that's pretty mean um i just don't tend to have much luck with mascaras um oh well, my contact lens moved then <laughs> getting used to doing makeup wearing contact lenses again is uh something okay well i am actually quite impressed okay i wasn't expecting that at all i was not expecting that okay nice um let's grab a to clean my face up 
me just grab that'll do that will do and some micellar water where have i put that i don't know if i put anything this is yeah that looks really nice actually i'm yeah stunned stunned at that i'm just gonna wipe off any fallout a bit of micellar water okay yeah that's actually that's left me speechless i'm shocked okay so base products i have a few to try okay okay staff let's crack on so i do have a new primer to try it was gifted to me by my beautiful friend darcy it is the danessa marx beauty yummy skin glow serum hydrating primer face serum in the shade main squeeze um so it has a shade so i'm just gonna pop Ooh, ooh, it's it's goopy serum stuff serum out of practice can you tell just a bit um oh it feels really nice oh oh it smells nice too i'm it's not a really strong smell it's like a really fresh smell um i'm a sucker for nice smells if i'm honest um but yeah it's not you can definitely smell it. I'm trying to think what it smells like. Like watermelony. I don't know. Um, but it smells really nice. <laughs> I've been super excited to try this. So yeah, here we go. And so grateful to Darcy for picking this up for me getting this for me i am um, it definitely does leave a glow doesn't it oh i don't know what that looks like on camera but sat here in person that looks really nice i'm not sure as and you know, i i always wear kind of foundation even if it's a a tint um but yeah i can imagine if you've got pretty even skin anyway so that that would that would look really nice okay well it feels really nice. it's got a slight it has left a slight tack which i like um so foundation to try i have the revolution skin silk luminous serum foundation in the shade f3 um yeah i wanted to i wanted to try this i've had this for ages like since it was new and i know it's not new now but in the world of makeup for how long is anything new not long like really not long um so yeah let's oh yeah it's definitely serum-y oh if you can hear talking, my daughter's on the phone upstairs, I think. Um, okay, that's definitely more than I was expecting. You don't need to pick up much. And I think I've actually got a pretty good shade. I think that's, uh, that's a pretty good shade match. Okay. Well, it doesn't feel like anything on my skin. I don't know what the coverage is meant to be like. I didn't even think to check that. I would imagine. Well, I don't know. Looking at it, it looks like it's got pretty, pretty decent coverage. Okay. Obviously, I'm using a brush. Um... I mostly do use a brush to apply my foundation. I do sometimes use a blender. Um, but I find remembering to wet them difficult. I don't know why. <laughs> why I would find that difficult to remember. 
But yeah, for some reason, I don't ever remember to wet one. So yeah, that's, that's that. This looks pretty nice. Yeah, obviously not great coverage. You can still see like the redness and that there. There's that one. My skin's not been great. Um, my skin's never great, but such is life. Such is life. That looks really nice. Okay. I'm, I like that. I like how that's looking. I really like how that's looking. Okay. Well, first impressions. It looks really nice on the skin. Like, really nice. Okay. We like that. Um, am I going to use that concealer? Or do I want to go in with my... Hmm. I'm going to use my Huda Beauty one, I think. Let's pop that one away. Um, right, just getting my Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. Um, stop getting dark. I have the shade Coconut Flakes, um, which I think is slightly too deep, but it's okay. It's okay. I only use a tiny bit of this anyway. You really only need a tiny bit. Hmm. So yeah, it's been a little bit kind of nerve wracking coming back, although I've been super excited to come back. Um, I've missed doing makeup, I've missed filming, I've missed chatting with you guys, I've been very kind of absent from social media also. Has that stopped? No, that is working. Um, I've tried to keep up a bit, especially with the, the classified indie page. Um, it's just been difficult times. Um, one thing after another but yeah hopefully this is me kind of back back hopefully no more hiccups along the road yeah that's looking really nice okay okay I am going to set that. Let me just grab a face powder. I'm just going to grab my my favourite, um, my HMB Cosmetics Soft Focus Loose Powder. I love this. Um, and ah, a brush would be handy. Going to be powder brush. Um, I absolutely, this is my, my favourite powder. I have other ones I love, um, but I'm already on my first backup of this one. Um, and I have another, I picked up another backup for, for this now, so. Yeah. Loving. Loving how that's looking. Oh, the battery's getting low. I don't, I don't know how long this battery lasts on this camera. This is just all new, all new to me. Um, so I think I need to speed things up a little bit. So I have a new contour palette to try. This is from London Copyright. It is the Volume One contour palette, and these other shades it has in um i think i am going to go in with refine the slightly deeper one um oh crikey it's very pigmented that's very pigmented um oh i may have picked up a little bit too much i don't know um 
yeah it's very very pigmented that is a lot more <laughs> pigmented than i was expecting but that looks like a good a good shade i'm just gonna use just the tiny bit that's left on the brush for up here okay pretty impressive and get rid of the double chin I love that you can you can kind of do that with makeup reshape reshape your face a bit okay that's that's really nice I like that yeah it's a lot of kick up but yeah I'm loving that um I do also have a blush palette volume one blush palette from London copyright it's a UK indie brand and this is what she looks like I'm thinking I'm gonna go with delicious peach I think that's gonna be a good a good option Again, very pigmented. Oh, that's a really pretty, a really pretty shade. Oh, okay. That's really nice. It's a really smooth powder. It looks really nice on the skin. I'm kind of liking that for some reason. Ooh. I say liking that, I mean like the over the nose there. I don't know what they call it. They call it something. I'm not up with all the the new terms and stuff, but I am loving loving that shade that looks beautiful oh okay highlighter highlighter where's a highlighter brush okay i have a new highlighter to try it is from mandy makeup it is the light worker highlight in the shade akashic um it's a loose one and oh, look at that not that that really helps Ooh. I haven't done my inner corner and brow bone highlight um, yet, but I'll do that in a moment. This is pretty. Look at that. Ooh. She pretty. She's super pretty. And really fine, so not not a chunky. Not a chunky. Oh, that's. I picked up a lot there. I I like me a strong bold highlight. Oh. Yeah, it's really smooth. It's not kind of chunky and glittery at all. So if you don't like the kind of glittery chunky ones, then this is going to be a good option for you. Mandy makeup is one of my favorite brands and Mandy is a just beautiful person inside and out um ooh. A bit down there. that looks really pretty i'm gonna put a bit more on just because i can just because i can and i've missed glowing like this ooh. that looks good what do you think guys I don't know if my lighting's gonna be washing it out on camera, but that looks beautiful. Okay. Okay. Loving that. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Um, so let's I'm gonna go back into the palette for my inner corner and brow bone highlight, and I'm gonna use the shade magical. See, this is the one I have on my lid and I'm just seeing purple as well as the kind of blue green but oh that looks so pretty um so let's 
let's do inner corner brow bone highlight Ooh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that. Add a bit more. Oh, this is. This one's different as well. So I expect. I think I. That's what I love about kind of shifty shades is you kind of. You never know. 100% what to expect and I love that. That looks so pretty. Just put a bit more. And I'm just going to pop a bit of that up under my brow. Ooh. Ooh. A lot of that up under my brow apparently. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> That's okay. Because it looks so pretty. Look at that. Ooh, okay. I'm loving this. Um, so let's find a lippy and then we will wrap up. So do you want to go with a gloss or do I want to go with a lipstick? I think I am going to... I'm going to go with my favourite lipstick at the moment. I think this is going to look beautiful anyway. Um, so yeah, this is my favourite lipstick at the moment. Um, has been for a while now. It is the Beauty Moon Cosmetics Lip Icon Liquid Lipstick in the shade M39. I love, love this lipstick. It is so nice. So, look at that. Oh, isn't that just stunning? Love, 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 love. Okay, and then a quick spray. What spray? Um, spray I'm using. Oh, this one actually I got from Timu. Um, it's, I believe, a, a dupe for the Urban Decay one. It's Usher's setting spray. I like the smell of it too. Okay. Okay, let me come in. Oh, before my battery dies, come in close. I am loving how that's looking. Okay, guys, so bit of a crazy catch up. Let me know what you think of the look. And um, yeah, it's good to be back, guys. I have missed you all so very much. I really hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have um so yeah hopefully I will be seeing you guys again very soon so thank you so much for watching I love you thank you see you soon Like it's Sunday She said, baby, what you gonna do about it?